it's time to engrave. Content. Yay! Good job, Josh. You're such a fantastic filmmaker. You're so good at making videos. Videoing Kyle engraving stuff for several hours. Yay! Four hours later. Yes, we are still engraving. Yes, I am still wearing the same shirt. We've been engraving since Monday. That's four days. It's Thursday now. Four days. Four. Hashtag quality content. We're still engraving. I am tired of doing time lapse, so I'm gonna do a little fun thing for you guys. I'm gonna show you the cool things that are on this table right here. This table. There's a lot of cool things on it. Check it out. <laughs> it's messy.
So I'm trying to make this as interesting as possible so that you guys will keep watching. So I invented a little segment that we can do. It's called Let's Ask Kyle Questions. And see what his response will be. Are you live? What's your favorite color? Gold. <gasps> oh look guys! I found gold on the floor! Actually my favorite color is two-tone color. It's black with gold in it. <gasps> look, here's gold. Ooh, pretty. The cow want gold plated shoes. There you go. You're worth something now. If you had to choose in between a $200,000 car or a $50,000 house, which one would you choose? $200,000 car? What kind of an option is that? Couldn't you sell the car and buy a house? Or keep the car? Sell a $200,000 car, buy a $100,000 house and a $100,000 car? Or buy a $50,000 car and buy a $150,000 house? How about that? Sounds like a pretty good option. Alright guys, just want to give you an update. This is day eight and we are still gold inlaid. Done. I just got all the pieces gold inlaid. Spent about eight days doing it. The next thing I need to do is sand all the gold down flush and get all these fittings sanded up to 3000 grit. We're gonna lightly buff them and then gun blue them. So I'm gonna be sanding for day, day and a half or so to get all the, get all the pieces worked over. Messing around with some of these 3M diamond coated uh, sanding sheets that follower sent me. Trying to kind of figure out the micron to grit equation. So this 30 micron should be like 600 grit according to the chart he sent. I've got this fitting sanded to 320 so normally I'd jump from 320 to 600 so I'm gonna go ahead and try it out on this, uh, this spacer here. So he sent me 30 micron, 60 micron and 15 micron, which should be all the way up around 1200 grit. Not any super fine ones like we were thinking, like shooting for like 5,000 or 6,000 grit. I don't have any of that around yet, but this might come in really handy still for, I was, since it's diamond coated, you might be able to just keep it lubricated really well and just sand and sand and sand and sand and pretty much not wear the diamond off, possibly. I'm gonna definitely try it out on blade. Yeah, seems about like 600 grit. I don't think it's gonna work very well for sanding fittings though, because I don't normally like to get anything to lubricate the paper all over the fittings, like WD-40 or Windex or anything, just because it makes a mess. I normally do that dry, but this might work really well for a blade, where I'm at using Windex or something to keep the paper clean, because this paper seems to just cut and cut and cut until it gets clogged up. Oh,
two days later and I'm still hand sanding. I'm almost completely done with the sanding now. I've just got a little bit more to do on the guard and then I need to lightly go over these, these other fittings with one more grit. Uh, the reason I say it's two days later is because yesterday was Independence Day. It was awesome. I hope you guys had a great 4th of July too. We hit 10,000 subscribers, guys. It's awesome. Thank you so much for making this goal that we've been working for become reality. We've been shooting for 10,000 for a while. It was like one of our big epic landmark goals and we've hit it and it couldn't be possible wouldn't be possible even without you guys. So thank you so much. Everybody here at Kyle Rowe and I is super excited about this landmark that we hit and we've got lots of great stuff that we're wanting to do in the future. We're gonna be doing all sorts of cool knife projects, lots of teaching, lots of laughs hopefully too. And uh, we're even gonna get into some courses and doing some other stuff like that. So thank you guys so much for making the 10,000 goal happen. Absolutely grateful to have each and every one of you. Stick around for the next video where I'm gonna be showing tips and tricks on gun bluing fittings and etching large Damascus blades.